mycelium's the largest living organism on our planet. Mm -hmm. and that that just just take that in for a sec. You know, like it is networking. I, I actually see it as the neural neurological pathway of the earth it's underneath right it's underlaying it's transmitting information it's sending nutrients from plants to trees it's breaking down not only what's degrading naturally trees and leaves but it's it, it's able to degrade toxins <laughs> Joining me today on the Psychedelic Spotlight Podcast is Kimberly Carlson. She is the CEO of Mushrooms Inc., which is the first company trading on the U.S. stock market focused on the industrial side of mushrooms and under the ticker MSRM. Kimberly, it is a pleasure to have you with us here on the show. How are you doing today? Good, and thank you, David. It's awesome to be here and to connect with you and your audience about the industrial side of mushrooms. Yeah, I'm really excited to actually talk about this because I think it's a side of the mushroom industry that uh, doesn't get enough attention, despite the fact that the global mushroom market, you know, according to data here from SkyQuest Technology, is a $50 billion industry. So I don't think it's any secret as to why you've chosen to get involved here in the mushroom industry. But, you know, listen, I know Mushrooms Inc., you're in the process of really kind of getting it off the ground. Uh, so I want to take this opportunity to kind of just give our audience out there a very, you know, very brief intro into the company. I know there's some things that you can't really share just yet because it's still in the beginning stages. So, you know, feel free to share what you're comfortable with. But if we want to start maybe by having you give us a quick overview, the elevator pitch, if you will, of Mushrooms Inc. and what specifically the company is going to be focused on here. So, um I didn't know anything about, uh, to be honest, didn't know anything really about the mushroom sector going into it. I had researched um, hemp, industrial hemp for two and a half years, and then was asked to cross over and start researching mushrooms and was uh, like immediately blown away. I call it inoculated, <laughs> especially if you start <laughs> going down. Yeah. If you start going down, um, there's so many avenues where mushrooms can help us environmentally was huge for me. It's a passion of mine. And so when I saw the crossover between in, the industrial hemp and industrial mushroom, I was immediately in um, and started pushing for that. And, you know, you, you hear in a lot of people talking about cannabis crossover, like cannabis crossing over into mushrooms. And to me, it, it's, it's actually, actually synergistic because um, just to diverge a little bit, with the industrial side of mushrooms, a lot of the packaging you're seeing, like that's replacing styrofoam, the substrate they're using is hemp because the mycelium loves it. It wants, you know, it wants to grow on it. And so I, I see it synergistic. I think it's beautiful. And that's how I found my way to mushrooms. Um, what we're doing as a company is spent pretty much the first year in intensive R&D, really getting to gain industry knowledge, understanding, meeting with people in different sectors, um, understanding how Mushrooms Inc. could make an impact and support the industry while being positioned for um, growth and scale. And now that we have that positioning, um, we're in phase two which is building the team. So we will have announcements coming out soon of the different um, board advisors that we're bringing on that we feel are integral to the business growth and development, as well as the joint ventures that are coming. That'll be in the coming months. We'll be announcing those. Um, we have a project that uh, under NDA with the university, but um, this is the one that I feel is really the core of everything else launching out of it. And it's gonna be a service that we're gonna allow others in the industry to, it'll help them to maximize the health and environmental benefits of their projects. And it's also core to ours. So that's, that's really our plans, um, marketing awareness, right. 
obviously huge piece of this because like you said, not many people know about these amazing things that mushrooms can do for our environment. Um, so that's a piece of the business plan. And we've positioned um, Mushrooms Inc. as to be an industrial mushroom leader. And um, our co inclusive collaborative business model harnesses the strength of diversity. Um, we're rewarding scientists and innovators directly with um, based on the success of their projects. So we're creating a real networking um, business model that allows for growth and scale in this vast, you know, realm of mushrooms and all that they can benefit. It's exciting. So when you talk about industrial mushrooms, uh, let's elaborate on that a little bit to help our audience understand. So uh, it, it really, you know, goes, ties into mycelium and utilizing mycelium uh, for packaging um, textiles. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more specifically on what you mean when we talk about industrial mushroom on uh, the industrial side of mushrooms? Oh my gosh. So here's where I get a little crazy. And I think a lot of people do. Um, psyllium is the largest living organism on our planet. Mm -hmm. and that, that just, just take that in for a sec, you know, like it is networking. I, I actually see it as the neural neurological pathway of the earth. It's underneath, right? It's underlaying, it's transmitting information. It's sending nutrients from plants to trees. It's breaking down not only what's degrading naturally trees and leaves, but it's it, it's able to degrade toxins. So um, there's, I believe there's so much to learn about it. I don't think as humans, we can, you know, put that ego on and go, oh, it's great. Look what it's doing at a simple way. We need to honor it. We need to respect it as we're learning, you know, just now about how much it actually can do. And, you know, that goes into that motto of, you know, improving lives and um, improving um, industries because, mm -hmm. You, these we've done things in the past that were not the best choices, right? If you want to say it nicely. Um, and mushrooms, mycelium in particular, is able to go in and remediate. We call it mycoremediation. You're able to go in and break down these chemicals at a molecular level and get EPA approval that we have actually broken down these toxins with mycelium. And this isn't new. There have been scientists doing this for years. And what we're doing as a company is saying, thank you so much. It's amazing you've done that. How can we work with you and save Mushrooms Inc., you know, five years of research and development, partner with those scientists and bring to them what they don't have, the marketing, the investors, how to scale, how to find the businesses that want it as a solution for mistakes they've made in the past. So we we do have that collaborative approach, which I think is, is a win-win um, in this industrial mushroom side. So I, I know a big part of a mushroom being focus here in the coming months, I would imagine is going to be building investor awareness and being able to attract new investors here into the company. And one thing that I know and having worked in the investor and public relations sector for several years is that aside from just looking for the best opportunity for value, uh, investors are also looking for companies that maybe align with some of the things that they're very passionate about. And I know one thing that Mushrooms Inc. and yourself are very passionate about is the environment and sustainability and how to strategically utilize mushrooms to promote sustainability. So let's talk a little bit about that and talk a little bit about that passion for helping the environment and learning from mistakes that have been made in the past and how you're actually going to leverage mushrooms to promote sustainability. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've worked in the nonprofit sector, and it's great. It's it's huge. It's made you know massive impact in in pushing through change that we need to repair a lot of the environmental issues we're seeing. We also need for profits to get on board with solutions that are profitable that also make those changes and implement those changes. And in the mushroom sector, there's so much. There's the red tape, you know, obviously we have to get through with EPA and, you know, FDA bureaucratic red tape, but we can get through it faster as a for-profit. And we can help to implement these solutions faster. And so an investor who's contributing to Mushroom Inc., is, is gonna benefit from this blooming sector in a broad and encompassing way. They're gonna see the change that they want to have happen faster 
we're, we're all a little bit frustrated about that, I believe. Like, why aren't these, these solutions being implemented now? So we're looking to do that. We're putting in place big players who want to see these solutions, either because maybe they caused them <laughs> and right. they want to show that they're making a difference and they're going to fix it. Um, so aligning projects up directly with them is one path. Um, and the other is ones that we see there's revenue to be made by implementing them. And so those are the ones we're hitting right off the bat. Yeah. And one thing I want to touch on as well here is leadership. You know, I know a lot of people, especially in the investment community, when they're examining companies and looking at them for a potential investment opportunity, they always look at the top and they always look at who's driving the ship. And one of the things that has fascinated me the most about Mushroom Sync is yourself, Kimberly, and, and you know how passionate you know you are about what you are doing here. And most importantly, we've talked, you know, we've talked off the record, but we've talked about wanting to do things the right way. So mm -hmm. I would love for you to share a little bit about that and how you are structuring the foundation here at the company right now before things really take off, but making sure that you've got a solid foundation in place that's going to be in alignment with your own personal beliefs and how you want to see Mushrooms Inc. as a publicly traded company? We're, um, you know, I've been fortunate to be brought into this with um, people who've, you know, one one gentleman who's the board director put the first publicly traded marijuana company on the stock exchange and years and years of experience being able to learn from mistakes that were made um, and glean from that what not to do. Um, we have a great structure right now. Our shareholder, our, our dilution is low. We're not throwing shares around. Um, we really respect the, the structure of the share in the stock. We're not looking for, I mean, con big convertible notes that are going to come in and prevent us from, from gaining momentum and, and growing as a business, which I've seen that they do. Um, so that's fundamental. I, I've, you know, we've had people come to us already saying, "Hey, we want to get in, and and here's 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 a great pro great thing for you." And we've looked at it and said, "Well, absolutely not." <laughs> you know, that's yeah. that's that's the opposite of what we're looking to do. So, you know, we haven't had a lot of announcements because we've been in that phase one of understanding where are we going in? Where are we going to position ourselves? And we're not putting out fluff PR. I'm putting out news as it happens. And yes, I, you know, I can see that as from a shareholder perspective, it's like, oh, they're quiet. They're not doing anything. Like, oh, we are, we really are. <laughs> like I'm working a lot. And, and the, the news that we have coming out in the year, near future is, is great. And we're positioned really well. And our stock is positioned well to, show what we're doing and react positively so yeah. and we're going to do it that way and i respect that because you know again as someone that comes from the the ir and pr uh, industry and someone that also runs a publicly traded company myself i can tell you that you know yes I've, I've experienced the same thing where you know maybe we're quiet for a month or two doesn't mean that there's not a lot of work going on behind mm -hmm. the scenes it's just being strategic with when to put news out, what to put out, because we live in a world, I think, especially with social media, we're bombarded with news nonstop. So being strategic with, you know, when to put news out there, when to actually beat that drum and say, hey, come take a look at what we're doing over here, I think is is important. So I, I really respect your approach to that. And I guess the last question to, to kind of wrap things up here is, you know, if you, if you had to get in front of a crystal ball here, so to speak, and we're talking, you know, best case scenario, but of course, no guarantees whatsoever, you know, where would you like to see Mushroom Zinc in exactly one year from today? Oh, I wish I could say all the things I want to say. Um, <laughs> so um, I will say in August, it should be around August, um, an announcement's going to be made that really sets the stage for that one year question. And um, we are going to be positioned respectfully as an aid, as a guide, as a support to this industry. Um, and Mushrooms Inc., I just want to say, like, it, it's such a huge name. And daily I go, oh my God, you know, like, how do you live up to that name? And the more you research mushrooms and understand, 
how powerful and amazing they are, the more daunting that name is to be, you know, oh, I can represent Mushrooms Inc. Like it's huge. And so that's, it's it's a collaborative model. It, it's begging for it. I mean, it's like mycelium. It, it, it's a network that's gonna, it takes a network to bloom a mushroom. And we are, are going to be that network. That's what I believe, that's what I'm passionate about, mm -hmm. collaboration and doing it in a way that's fair and, and people want to be a part of it because, oh my gosh, the biggest issue I've had, I will, I will point out mm -hmm. yeah. is people not believing the deal I'm offering them. They're not believing that I want them to win as well. Like, and so it's going, you know, they're looking like, where's the catch? Like, there's no catch. Like, let's just work together and make this happen for the right reasons. Let's, let's all pool our resources and, and get this going. And this is the perfect project to do that with. It's like a cura I've curated before, and this is the ultimate curation project. And I'm super excited about it. A year from now, you're going to see that fruit. You're going to see the little start of the mushroom going, and you're going to you're going to understand this mycelial network that we've developed underneath it, so that it will fruit and continue to. So. I love it. I love it. And what excites me, I think, the most personally is. You know, someone that spends a lot of time on the psychedelic side, you know, talking mm. about psychedelic mushrooms and working alongside other psychedelic uh, mushroom companies, there's this desire within this community of wanting to collaborate, wanting to work together. Uh, I feel like this whole movement that, that even extends to mushrooms, and I mean, we could even talk about just functional mushrooms, but this whole movement that we're seeing really is all about learning from the mistakes that we've made in the past and not wanting to go down that same path. How can we do things better? And a lot of that comes down to let's work together. Let's not be so stubborn. There's no need to be so independent and hold everything selfishly to ourselves. And so I think the mindset that you're establishing here right out of the gate for mm -hmm. Mushroom Zinc in terms of wanting to collaborate and out there act actively looking for collaborations. I think that is so important. And I think it's so exciting because I think it offers a ton of potential on this entire other side of the mushroom industry that I think mm -hmm. has a ton of potential. And really, like, I, I really respect that approach. And I think that's really helping set a, a solid foundation for the company. I appreciate that. And again, like, like I said, the name is so huge. And we have talked about, you know, there's a pillar for psilocybin. There's a pillar for textile. There's a pinnacle pillar for medical products, for farming, for microremediation. Like, I do believe that if we're successful in starting this program, right, this business model, that it can roll out and, and really we can bring in all of these pillars and really make the company represent its name. You know, it's a challenge, but I'm up for it. And I think collaboration is the key to doing it. Yeah, so, I agree. I appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, mushroomsinc.com is the website. I want to encourage anyone out there interested in learning more about the company, uh, learning more about Kimberly and the team that she is assembling here for the company to visit them again. It's mushroomsinc.com. We'll get the link here uh, into the podcast. But Listen, this has been a great, just, you know, quick introduction to the company. Again, I know that there's a lot that you can't talk about just yet, but make no mistake about it. I know you're working on a lot of really exciting things. So I look forward to staying in touch and sharing more here with our audience as some of these developments come to fruition over the next few months. Sounds great. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.